Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of weight and capacity. This is standard 3.7D in the great state of Texas and we're using item number 9 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So this is a different type of problem because we don't need to do any type of operation. There's no addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. It's just going to be choosing a unit of measurement. So Patrick's class collects, collected boxes of food for cherry. So let's see, let's say we draw some of these boxes. So let's say we've got some boxes, maybe some, uh, some macaroni and cheese, and maybe we've got some hamburger helpers. So we've got some boxes that we are going to donate to charity. And then we need to find the unit of measurement that should be used to measure the weight. So that's going to be our big question right there. How do we measure weight? And only one of these is going to be helpful for us when we measure weight. But look at our answer choices. Quartz, pounds, gallons, and fluid ounces. And so if we don't know what these do, well, then we're going to be in a lot of trouble. So let's look at these each and let's just see if we can figure out where we've heard these terms before. So let's start with quartz. So quart, when you're thinking of quart, you should be thinking of a quarter. Now a quarter, yes, is worth 25 cents, but a quart really just means one quarter means the same as one fourth. So it is one fourth of something that's larger. In this case, we are thinking a quart is one-fourth of a gallon. So quart and gallon are related. And you can get certain items in either a quart or a gallon. And if you've ever gone shopping before, and you see we've got our gallons right down here. So these two are related. So if you've ever gone shopping before, maybe with your parents, and you've gone to Walmart or a grocery store, and they ask you to go get some milk, there's different ways that you can get milk. Two of the different ways are be, would be to get a quart of milk and then get a gallon of milk. The other way would also be a pint. So two quarts make a pint and then two pints make a gallon. So the, there's just different ways to get milk. Depends on how much you want. This is gonna be our biggest right here, our gallon. Now, if you're thinking about that, and you're thinking, well, is that how we measure weight or is that how we measure capacity, right? So weight is the effect of gravity on an object. On Earth, weight changes if you go to different planets. And then capacity is, an, another way to think of it would be volume, like liquid volume. How much liquid can you put in something? And the reason we have to have a measurement for that is because liquids change as they change the shape of, as they go to different containers and so we need to measure how much you might have the exact same uh, capacity of a really tall and skinny container as a short and wide container they might be the same even though they look completely different so if we're saying that our quarts and our gallons are going to be for milk well guess what that's liquid that's our liquid volume, that's our capacity, so we're not going to use that. It doesn't, that doesn't get, give us a measurement of weight. That gives us a measurement of capacity. Other things that give us a measurement of capacity are cups. This is all in the customs, customary system. And then you might also have heard of liters and even milliliters. That's in the metric system. So we're down to pounds, we're down to fluid ounces. Ooh, there's your clue right there, look at that. Fluid ounces. Fluid is something very similar to liquid. So ounces make up cup eight. Fluid ounces make up a cup. It's a really, really small unit of measurement for capacity. So this also is going to be a measure for capacity. So that is going to leave us with pounds. Think about pounds. When you go to the doctor for your yearly checkup, typically they'll make you get on a scale and they'll weigh you and they will measure this in pounds. They'll say you weigh 58 pounds or you weigh 96 pounds. So pounds is a measure of weight, which remember measures uh, gravity's effect on us. Our weight changes if we were to go to outer space. Our answer is B.